Hello, Fiery Sisters. I'm so sorry that we will not be gathering together this week at FIMU's National Convention. Convention is an important part of the traditions of FIMU, so National Council and I wanted to share an overview of the history and meaning of our conventions. In its national conventions lies the governing power of FIMU fraternity. On these occasions, delegates of the fraternity's collegiate and alumni chapters gather with national and area officers to conduct business and determine the future course of FIMU. Attending a national convention can be one of the most exciting experiences a FIMU can have. It's an event that brings sisters from around the country together for the purpose of determining new directions for our fraternity. The first national convention took place in 1907, just three years after the Philomathian Society became FIMU Fraternity in 1904, with our Alpha Chapter at Wesleyan College. In earlier days, perhaps one of the most memorable parts of going to a national convention was boarding the FIMU Special, which were railroad cars loaded with laughing, chatting, singing FIMUs, anticipating a week of good times and fellowship. The train originated from larger cities and made frequent stops along the way to pick up additional groups of delegates. The first FIMU special took FIMUs to the 1916 National Convention in Walpaca, Wisconsin. A model initiation service was first performed in 1911, and a memorial service recognizing deceased sisters became an established part of every national convention beginning in 1919. Roundtables, later called workshops, were first introduced to the convention program in 1921. Time for fun was reserved on the convention programs and a full play day materialized in 1929. Providing free time to enjoy the resort surroundings, the city, picnics, boat trips, whatever special excitement the location had to offer has been a part of most conventions since then. A formal banquet has provided a climactic ending to national conventions since the first convention in 1907, called the Carnation Banquet from the 1960s on. This dinner celebrates the completion of several days of exhausting business sessions and fun-filled social events. It is also a traditional time for important awards. The 1907 banquet was described in this manner, quote, at the banquet, the table was elaborately decorated in rose and white ribbons and pink carnations. A dainty menu was served. The toast mistresses pre presided beautifully, and between the courses, the toasts were given. World War I presented many challenges for FIMU, and in 1918, a devastating influenza epidemic broke out, causing many school functions to be called off. The National Convention of 1918 had to be postponed until the following year. In 1919, First Vice President Julia Picard Bailey wrote, Since last convention, we as a fraternity have had a most splendid opportunity for testing the strength of our organization. In 1933, National Convention was also postponed for one year because of the effects of the Great Depression. When the convention did take place in 1934 in Chicago, Illinois, attendance broke all previous records with 335 attending. In 1942, convention was postponed, this time because of World War II. In 1943, FIMU held a National Leadership School and War Service Conference, which was a trimmed down, no frills, four day meeting. The 1945 convention was again postponed due to war conditions and transportation restrictions. For the first time in FIMU history, an entire collegiate generation had come and gone without an opportunity to experience a regular national convention. However, convention took place in 1946, and every biennium for the past 74 years, five Mu's have met in convention assembled. In recent years, convention has involved all of the traditions of the past, with newer additions such as celebrating our partnership with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and conducting a service project involving all convention attendees. Distinguished FIMUs have spoken as part of the Exceptional Women series, and a hilarious recap of convention highlights has been provided by the Courtesy Resolutions Committee. We will miss seeing the smiling young faces of our collegiate members and witnessing as many of them experience FIMU on the national level for the first time. We will remember fondly our senior-most FIMU alumni, the role models and examples to us all 
of what a lifetime commitment to our sisterhood looks like. On behalf of National Council, thank you for your dedication to our fraternity and the virtual business we will conduct this week. And we dearly look forward to seeing you in person in 2022. This week, we are making FIMU history by conducting the business of convention electronically. We will also celebrate our outstanding members and chapters. We invite you to join us on social media to help us spread the excitement and experience sisterhood in a new and different way. We want to thank the fantastic headquarters staff for all of their hard work these past few months and for everything that they have coordinated over the next several days. As a national council, we are so proud of the achievements of the last biennium, and we look forward to accomplishing even more during the next two years. It has been a difficult time, but we know that FIMU has overcome challenges and obstacles in the past. These times of hardship are when our sisterhood is the most important. Our thoughts are with all of you who have been affected by the devastating events of the past few months. Please know that your sisters are here for you. Even though we are not in one room, we know that the meaning, spirit, and reality of FIMU is present in our actions and in the time we spend together loving our sisters, honoring our fraternity, and serving in the light of truth.